Would you shut up? Before I throw you off a plane for views. What is the craziest thing that you, a random viewer of my channel, would do for views? If you knew you could make money by doing something absurd, potentially a lot of money, would you do it? In light work, no reaction. I ain't even got to take a sip of my Diet Coke. For example, would you conduct a real-life reenactment of September 11th, 2001 with a prop plane in the middle of nowhere instead of New York City and do that all for sponsorship and ad revenue? Well, if you wouldn't, there is a guy who would, and he is the subject of today's video. You've probably heard about this story before, but it gets way deeper and way crazier than you know. Okay, it's awesome. This is one of my favorite things that's happened in a long time. And no, this is not a kick streamer. This isn't Aiden Ross. It's not Jack Doherty. It's not f***ing Zerka. It's not the action man, even though it would be super on brand for those dweebs. <laughs> So this originally happened back in 2021. You probably saw some of the videos on it, potentially, maybe. I don't even know. Dude's name was Trevor Jacob. And this man had impeccable reasoning skills. Impeccable, okay? Trevor took to the skies with common sense in hand on November 24th, 2021. And on that fateful day, he made a huge mistake. A gigantic mistake. In the original video, which has now been deleted from YouTube, as you can imagine, when you film yourself committing crimes, probably a good, good idea, smart idea to delete it, to be honest. But obviously the video has been re-uploaded and Trevor set off with the intent of taking the ashes of his late best friend, Johnny Strange. That is a real person. He intended on spreading them in the Sierra Nevada mountains. On November 24th, 2021, I took off to the Sierra Nevada the mountains to spread my best friend Johnny Strange's ashes. I plan to document the entire trip and make a video sharing the adventure. So after this awesome little title card intro segment thing, he claims that he experienced engine failure over some mountains whilst flying, trying to spread his friend Johnny Strange. By the way, is Johnny Strange even real? We have no idea at this point. Oh, who is this guy? I remember seeing this, a base jumper. He is real. Daredevil Johnny Strange dies in wingsuit crash. Every time I see Daredevil and then some guy's name and then dies, I just, it's hard for me to feel bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to be disrespectful or anything, but it's just like, of course, dude's a fucking Daredevil. That's kind of what they do. They, 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 they die, <laughs> you know? They die. We all die. We're all born with a death wish. He then makes more claims via white on black text, and he uses that ominous text to tell his harrowing tale. There was no safe place to land. I jumped away from the plane and deployed my pursuit. I notified the fa and the despa immediately. I didn't think I would have the courage to share this footage, but I feel a lot of pilots can learn from my experience. Please fly with a pursuit. Then he enters the video, shows off his old buddy, Johnny Strange who passed away, although through his glory and integrity, he is preserved from the elements <laughs> via the protective forces of a Ziploc bag. I don't know why I couldn't say that without laughing, but uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty epic video so far. Trevor was also smart enough to write Johnny's name on the bag, it seems, so he doesn't get confused with all the other bags of ash that he has laying around. This is insane. This is so crazy. This is such a bizarre thing. Then he shouts out his sponsor for the video, Ridge Wallet. Gotta give a shout out to the Ridge Wallet. Which is a brand that I'm sure was incredibly thrilled to be included in on this epic experience. Introduction's over. The video goes on. About three minutes in, the propeller stops working, and our brother in Christ here decides to f***ing fly right out of that goddamn video. You see this shit, Frankie? You see this shit? This dude jumped out of an airplane in honor of his, bro his fallen brother in 2015, and also to promote wallets for money, for ad revenue. Isn't that crazy? expert on airplanes, especially not prop planes, it doesn't seem like he really tried that hard to restart the propeller or save the plane in any way. He just dove out of the aircraft and left it to find its way home. Bye bye plane! Fly home safe! 
Oh my god. Hopefully the autopilot kicked in. It would have been better footage if the, like the he got absorbed and like the plane went by and smashed into him or something and it blew up. That'd be kind of better footage. Not saying that I want him to pass away in a horrible plane crash accident and midair collision in, in the sky or anything, but it's, you know, he made it safe. He got to deploy his parachute and he also got to provide some fucking sweet Michael Bay style action shots of the plane flying away on its own. My bro is not flying, he's falling with style. Hey, he falls! This isn't flying, this is falling with style. So luckily he had a bunch of cameras just stored all over the, the aircraft. So when it did inevitably crash, he could go find it and then get the footage. Cause man, that footage is very, very valuable. Oh, wow. Also propeller seems to still be going. I don't really understand. Also, I might be an idiot, but I, it looks like, I feel like I could survive that. I legitimately feel like I could, I could be in that hair, had that helicopter. If I had like a big puffy jacket, I feel like I could survive that shit. That looked weak. That was a fucking lame crash. Then Trevor proceeds to fall into the ground. There's a healthy amount of profanity said, and he lands in some thick uh, branches in the Sierra Nevada mountains. He is now lost. Rest in peace, Trevor. He did not find his way home. Just kidding, guys. He was saved by farmers. He was also a little bit wounded from the landing, which I, I feel like he got away pretty, pretty scot-free, relatively I cut speaking. I pretty bad. No, no, Got my dude. elbow. No, dude, that's not I'm just good. so happy to be alive. Uh, yeah. I'm just kind of taking in what just happened. Well, where the hell am I going to land a freaking plane? I'm going to die. This guy's crazy. He just crashed a plane for views. <laughs> that's so wild. That is such a wild thing to just think is okay to do or a good idea. He also has a moment in which he goes full on Bear grill survival and drinks from a stream. So he gets out safe. He finds a car and he goes... <sighs> because it's so dramatic and stuff. Okay, so the whole thing is insane. There's a lot of red flags. We'll start with those, okay? Because it's like this whole, this thing can blew up. It was a massive deal. People are initially grateful that he survived with some slight injuries, some rashes, etc. A little bit of, he's a little shaken up. But like I said, something didn't smell right, dude. Something didn't smell right. Some pilots who also are able to make YouTube videos, it seems like, broke the video down and reacted to it. Trent Palmer, a YouTuber with almost half a million subscribers who is a private pilot. I'm Trent Palmer. I fly drones for a living and bush planes for fun. Follow along as I journey off the beaten path of aviation. With an entire section of his about me on his YouTube channel being about his plane, that part is longer than the part about him. My plane that I call the Freedom Fox is a Series 5 Kit Fox Stee. He broke the situation down very, very, very well. This guy's a legend. One of his first notes combing over Trevor's video is he says that the type of parachute that Trevor was wearing is the kind of parachute that you use for skydiving, not just normal flight. You would wear in an aircraft that you sit on. This is like a skydiving parachute. So that's a little strange. He also points out that you can see the door doesn't seal very well to begin with, but in a following shot where the engine stops working, the door is totally unlatched. I don't know why you just happen to have already had your door unlatched in the event of an engine failure that you are planning to jump out of or prepared to jump out of. That's suspicious. He then calls out Jacob for yanking on the steering wheel device controller joystick thing in the middle, which actually slows down the plane and can get the propeller to stop. It's like he's doing it for dramatic effect. Just the air blowing over, it's gonna windmill the prop. And what it looks like he's doing here, and this is again, at least in the way it plays out in the video, is right after the engine failed, he's pulling it back to stall and basically sitting there trying to get it as slow as he can, which is not what you do when your engine quits. You, you pitch for best glide or at least deal with flying the aircraft and start looking for somewhere to land. So those are some of his main points. Another YouTuber, Mentor Now, made the same point in his breakdown of the video that Trent did about the whole yanking of the steering device phallus. I don't know. No, dude. Generally speaking, if you do have an engine failure on a single engine aircraft, you don't pump the control, you don't, you know, try to get the nose up. Instead, you want to get the nose down and you want to achieve the speed for best glide angle. Also, it's really important to note that a lot of the stuff we would just never know if pilots and professionals didn't give us their insight through YouTube. It was a pretty cool situation. All the creators that use their platforms to call attention to these red flags. I'm not a pilot. Probably most of you guys aren't. It's cool. It's cool. This is dope. Trent also points out that Trevor didn't even look for a place to land before bailing. Not even like looking for a place to land. And this is a deduction that I, a layman, came to while watching the real original video. I figured maybe you could chalk it up to the footage being cut so you could just get to the action sooner. I mean, it's a, it's a video, right? It's not like a 
Strange documentary thing. He was supposed to go out there to spread his buddy Johnny Strange to season the mountains with him, but instead he decided to make money with the Ridge Wallet sponsor and crash his plan. I don't... So, like, it makes sense he'd cut that out. But also, on the other hand, you think leaving in footage of you doing every single thing possible to save your plane would be super important. So, odds are, is he just didn't look because he didn't, he never intended on landing the plane because he's a, he's a scam artist. <laughs> he just... He's a fucking idiot. In Mentor Now's video, he also calls out the shot of him jumping and shows something in his pant leg, which he says is either a, a fire extinguisher or an incredibly long penis. His, his pant legs, they, they don't look right. So they started going through this part of the video, but also his free fall, and they realized that it looks like he has a pressurized container of some sort strapped to his leg under his pants. Then I don't really know. It probably is a fire extinguisher though. That makes more sense than the penis thing. In another shot, you can see either the red of his engorged tip or a fire extinguisher. Once again, probably a fire extinguisher, just to be clear. Then there's another shot. You can actually just see it's, 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 a, it's a fire extinguisher trapped in, trapped in the inside of his like, dude, it's crazy. The hell dude. Trent then calls out the shot of Trevor looking back up at the plane, saying that beneath him looks like an area that would be decent to land in, which is amazing. Mentor now even says that that would make a good spot to do a parachute landing. And then also right behind him, I mean, that looks like a pretty nice little like gravel wash or sand wash that I'm fairly confident you can land your plane in. Yeah, right there. Look at that. That's a giant flat area. Why not just land right there, bro? Then Trent shows another gravel wash, perfect place to land a plane. Come on, dude. It's obvious, it's crazy. You know, when it, when it comes to emergency landings, in, in a scenario like this, say his engine actually did fail, emergency landings are made to save lives, not airplanes. And I can, with fairly high confidence, say that there is somewhere in that wash that you could glide to that you're gonna be able to walk away from. It might wreck your plane, but again, at that point, it should be insurance's airplane. And finally, Trent calls out in this massive, big, stinking turd of a red flag filled video that letting go of an aircraft to just go land wherever the wind takes it is a massive, huge liability and hazard that is completely uncalled for in 99% of all scenarios, including this one. The hazard that he's creating by jumping out of the airplane and just letting it fly is ridiculous. Again, I'll circle back to this, but man. You just can't, like with a gun, you don't just shoot in the air and let Jesus and God control the, the, the Coriolis effect and <laughs> you don't do that. What, if that. what if that plane flew all the way to New York City and crashed into a fucking tower, dude? Uh we missed the truck! We're not aiming for- Trevor is kind of the, the Osama of pilot YouTube. You can see the seemingly endless supply of red flags and things that are awfully suspicious, my friends. All these things point to the crash being planned and intentional. Four views and money from Ridgewell. My sponsor for today's video. And now the truth comes out. So despite the claim in the beginning of Trevor's video that he notified the, the proper and respective authorities immediately after the offense of that day, this would be another lie that he told. I notified the FAA and the NTCB immediately. His flight was on November 24th, according to him, and he didn't call on the crash until November 26th. Two days later, 48 hours, liar! And this is all according to the district attorney's office for the Central District of California. What people suspected from the very beginning, especially the awesome creator who reacted to his video and just tore it apart on day one, two, three. All this stuff came out officially this year back in June when Trevor pled guilty to several charges in relation to this incident, along with some other charges that we didn't know about until just now. He did some weird shit. Trevor pled guilty to destruction and concealment and the intent to obstruct a federal investigation. Those are not good charges, I feel like. I'd rather not have the intent to obstruct a federal inve investigation, honestly. I want some more white collar shit, like embezzlement, some Walter White stuff. You know, I've been watching Breaking Bad, pretty solid show. This is like the 15th time I've seen it, so. Not only did he lie about the engine failing on the plane, but he also lied to federal investigators in an aircraft accident incident report. Plus an FAA aviation safety inspector that was investigating this entire thing. Because you can't just crash a plane and then just, that's cool, you know. There's a lot of invest, it's a huge danger. Jacob lied to federal investigators when he submitted an aircraft accident incident report that falsely indicated that the aircraft experienced a full loss of power approximately 35 minutes 
minutes after takeoff. Jacob also lied to an FAA aviation safety inspector when he said the airplane's engine had quit because he could not identify any safe landing options. He had parachuted out of the plane. So here we go. Lies. Dude's a crazy psychopath. It's not even the worst part, dude. You're in for a surprise. He destroyed the wreckage. The evidence. He was supposed to be responsible for preserving it so it could be investigated by the proper authorities, but instead, he destroyed it. The NTSB told him he was responsible for preserving it. You can see right here. So they can examine it as a federal agency that fucking does plain shit. But instead of doing that, Jacob drove the wreckage to Lompoc City Airport and unloaded it in a hangar. He then cut up and destroyed the airplane wreckage and over the course of a few days deposited the detached parts of the wrecked plane into trash bins at the airport and elsewhere, which was done with the intent to obstruct federal authorities from investigating <laughs> November 24th. Thank gosh. That is so funny. That guy, he actually, he's been put to death. All right. Uncle Sam got him. He's dead. He got absorbed into the blob. Not really. He's just in jail. I think six months in jail. Not even that long, unfortunately. On top of this, he also lied to the federal authorities on the location of the wreckage, saying he didn't know, when in reality, he did know. And with the help of one of his idiot friends, they recovered the wreckage with the helicopter. They loaded it into a truck. I mean, that's impressive. How would you move a plane? How would you get the wreckage and put it in the back? I mean, that's just, that's very impressive. And all this took place before his video even went live. Dude is an idiot. When describing what Jacob did to commit these offensive, they put it fairly mildly. They said he exercised exceptionally poor judgment. I think they, 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 they kind of weren't hard enough on him. He manipulated everybody. Like he lied, manipulated, tried to scam people, faked a whole video i mean this is crazy six months in jail seems like it should be more but that isn't the end of him guys no 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 the woman the dog no 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 fuck no somehow this guy still has a fucking channel and he uploaded on december 4th four days ago he's still posting And this video came out immediately after the news came out about him being sentenced. Check out the title. <laughs> I got my private license back, but I'm going to prison. Flying right into the penitentiary. We are ready to disembark. Waiting your goal on separate transfer. How is this guy free? This video is whack, by the way. It's a glorified get ready with me TikTok trend thing where we join him as he makes breakfasts and laughs at the seriousness of his actions and his obstruction of federal time. investigations I never in a million years thought that i would get myself into the situation i guess i kind of knew what i was getting myself into but i never imagined it going as far as it did and it's really turned me from a boy into a man i was what 20 27 or 28 when that whole thing happened and uh, i thought I was grown up. Did he just say he was 27 or 28? This is a 27 or... I'm 27. This dude looks like he's 50. There's no way this guy is... 27 or 28 dude what that is wild he's a young man you think he i thought i was grown up but actually i was like 19 bro he's actually 14 years old he just looks he's been living hard or something or you think something's a certain way it actually sometimes turns out to be the exact opposite and that's exactly what happened I'm like I'm like yeah i'm i'm grown up i got it all figured out <laughs> life's like oh really and then you take advantage of the internet and also lie to the the government and lose your pilot's license and try to make money off it exploiting your your dead friend and a bunch of other awesome stuff honestly pretty good dude by the way i'm 27 i'm smart enough to know that you shouldn't fake crash an airplane for youtube views because i'm not a fucking idiot i mean like it doesn't have to do with age or anything i think i could ask most of my most of my friends i think i could ask most children i could ask probably jack doherty six years ago when he was flipping markers and dabbing hey man you think it's a smart idea to crash a plane for views and he'd say no but yeah the whole intentionally crashing a plane lying to federal investigators and then destroying evidence of the crime that's not really a boys to man situation that's just a, a lying serial psychopath this video was filmed 10 days before his sentencing and he shared that he was facing five felonies all of which carried up to 20 years but that had been reduced to one obstruction of justice charge and also he got his license back how the fuck is that possible whoever gave him his license back should go to jail with him what the fuck this guy's a danger we're 10 days out from my federal sentencing i have no idea what's gonna happen i was 
facing five felonies, all carrying up to 20 year sentences, or most of them. Got that pushed down to one, and now I'm facing a obstruction of justice charge for covering up evidence. He also says he got bad legal advice to do that. He He's fucking lawyer Saul Goodman. We got really bad legal advice to go ahead and do, but I'm taking full responsibility for it. I'm super grateful Thank that I've got an amazing lawyer that has just gone above and beyond to, to save me or do the best that she can. Not deserved at all. Not deserved at all, dude. You, you just blamed it on your lawyer. You got bad legal advice and then and then just said you're going to take full responsibility though because you got... I mean, what, dude? You don't need a fucking lawyer to know that's fucked up. I mean, what the fuck? Did your lawyer study law? Did your lawyer use chat GPT to figure that out? Who the fuck is his lawyer? How, how can you blame that on a lawyer? Bad legal advice. He then goes on to say in his incredibly wise and thoughtful way that he neglected to consider when he filmed the original video the impact that it would have on kids. What a good guy. They're sponges. They absorb everything they see online. And then he has the ability to influence younger generations and he could inspire something evil. Bro, children are smart the enough to know that, that you're I a fucking really idiot. considered was the influence that that can have on the younger generations. And there's so many kids that are like, you know, getting influenced by what they see on the internet that, you know, that, that has the effect to inspire someone to do something maybe harmful or evil. This is one of the dumbest old looking young people I've ever seen in my life. It's frustrating how old he looks. It's frustrating me. He does not look good at all. In the same breath though, he says, I knew I wasn't going to hurt anyone, which is preposterous to say. I knew I wasn't gonna hurt anyone, but. You can't know where the plane's gonna crash. You can't, you couldn't have known that. This dude did not think past, this is going to get a lot of views and make a lot of money for me. That's the only thing he thought about in this whole situation. Then back to the impact on the children cop out. What an idiot. And then guys, welcome to the floor. Oh, wow, he plays with his dog. He skates at the skate park. He's shredding it up at the skate park. Then he starts showcasing his many talents. He's a dirt biker, a wrestler, a skydiver. Yeah, we already fucking know that when you dip shit. This is all in bad taste. And by the way, the video gets disgusting here. Really, really, really disgusting. He shows himself flying. Flying down, descended thing tomorrow. I have no idea what's in store, so we will see. Please pray. Yep. <laughs> I got my pilot's license back. He's rubbing it in everyone's faces that he got off lightly. Everyone, mentor now, Trent, all the people who called this out, everyone who was angry at this idiot for doing what he did, he's rubbing it in their faces. He's even got a nicer plane that he's gonna fucking probably crash one day. Reviews. Maybe he'll do it live on kick or they'll allow it. Dude, this is what I'm really about. So when I get out in six months, this is the kind of shenanigans you can expect on my channel. Trevor, TrevorJacobs.com. Then they make light fun of the stupid drama. You're flying. I don't even need to do anything at this point. You can just jump out, honestly. Yeah. I guess it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> he then shills his merch, which is awesome because this man is only in this shit for the money. Adventure shirts are going quick. Click the link in the description if you want one. They then ironically talk about how great of a pilot he is. And by God, I, that's, I mean, that is truly the meaning of irony right there. I feel so safe flying with you. I really do. I feel super comfortable. He's such a good, good pilot. And also I love money and I love misleading people. And I, I also let... I, um, for some reason, I also thought that pirates and pilots were similar and that they went down with the ship or captains. You go down with the ship, you just crash the plane. I just feel like I'd crash with it. Just fucking crash. Who cares, dude? You know, it looked like a weak crash anyways. I could have survived that shit. Oh yeah, I could have survived that. Easy. <laughs> Easy, dude. It's like soft, cushiony, pff, little, 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 little dirt stuff, little bush so after having so much fun it's time to get serious all right guys he wants to show the audience that he's learned from his epic mistake he shows us the amount of paperwork that he has to go through oh god i'm right there with you i have so many taxes and things to do that i do that i pay and stuff because i respect the law just like this guy and i respect the government just like this guy i didn't actually ever understand you know like how the federal government works and now i very clearly understand how it works then he immediately deflects blame because he's a fucking giant jokester you want to respect the law you want to respect the government you don't want to step on their toes even though i didn't intentionally step on anyone's toes it's still 
Happened. I don't even know how else to say it, guys. I really don't even know how else to say it. He's an idiot. He gives props to his lawyer, which he apparently has a good one for finding a bunch of things in the plea agreement that were snuck in there. Luckily, thankfully for me, my lawyer is a badass and has nitpicked apart everything. And it turns out like there was a lot of things on that plea agreement that shouldn't have been on there. And she has just gone to war for me to make it, you know, how it should be. He's getting off five felonies reduced to one all the way down to six months in prison. Uh, potential hundred years to six months. You should fucking, of course, they're going to fight dirty. You crashed a plane for views and money and endangered people, you idiot. And he starts telling us about his life story, which just is so sad. If you put yourself in my shoes for a second. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just yeah, a you grew kid up that grew up in a downtown, downtown, downtown loves that loves sports, action sports, sports loves, loves having, having fun, fun loves, loves sharing good you know, times sharing with people, good times I love animals, I love, I love nature, animals, love I nature. also love money, I'm money hungry, and I like to take advantage of people, and I like to honor my friend, I'm only 28 years old, I'm practically a school child, check his computer, check his HDD, who knows what else he's got on that fucking thing, we get it bro, you love everything, we understand, alright man, we understand, there's a lot of other people who grew up in mountain towns who aren't evil like you anyways this guy sucks i really don't like this guy at all and uh thanks to the pilots that sort of broke out the red flags and got this whole thing to topple down and end up like this seems like the dude hasn't learned at all but the comments are never gonna let him ever forget nobody likes this dude and in six months when he's posting his daily get ready with me videos he'll realize that